This video is going to be like a lot of me talking a lot, and also I recorded this at like, well, before noon, so I didn't really master the art of talking for the day. So, even so, I want you to watch the entire thing because there's some pretty important things throughout the entire video, and at the end, you'll definitely want to watch the end because there's some very important things that I mentioned. So, yeah, be sure to do that. What's up guys? It happened. My subscriber count has gained another digit, which means I've reached 100 subscribers. We did it. And that is a big we. Thank you to all the people who went and saw my channel and thought that my content wasn't absolute garbage and clicked that subscribe button. Incredible. And because we reached 100 subscribers, I'm going to be doing the promised 100 subscriber special, which is releasing this pack here to all of you people, which is called Square. Now, this pack has a lot of history to me. In fact, you know, pack making has only a little bit longer of history. This was one of like my first packs that I made, and it's the first pack that I've completed. So forgive me if I go all online recipe on you guys and explain the history of this. I'll put up a timestamp for the people that really cannot care. So anyways, I started this pack uh, around, I want to say, mid-2019. It was like a really long time ago. My first attempt at a pack is actually visible in my first video on this channel that, you know, isn't like the audio test, which don't look that up, okay? I sounded so cringe back then. Just please, please no. Trust me, it's a, it's a way worse to experience. Please. Anyway, that that pack flopped because I, I that was it was an awful pack. I didn't like it. So you know, eventually I was just kind of fiddling around with pack making, and I just decided, hey, you know, I remember playing with the plastic pack way back when, like you know, on like old versions of Minecraft. I think it was even like Pocket Edition or something. I forget the specifics. But I played with that plastic pack. Uh, but I played with that plastic pack. Oh my god, that, that's a tongue twister right there. Anyways, uh, I played with that plastic pack and I tried to search for it again, like, you know, a downloadable on PC and I couldn't really find a good one. So I was like, wait a minute, I know how to make packs. I'm just going to make it. So I did. I sat down and I worked for like two weeks and got like I don't know, like 15 and 20 to 20 textures done, which is not, it does not constitute a full pack. Yeah, I, I stopped working on it because I had to work on other things like school and like, you know, actually recording this YouTube channel because that was actually around the time that this YouTube channel started was like, you know, when I stopped working on that thing. So nothing really happened with this pack until I want to say maybe a few months later when my computer broke down and I couldn't record videos for my YouTube channel. And basically, I, I also couldn't play video games. I had pretty much nothing to do. So I was like, wait a minute, I have a texture pack. Why don't I just work on that, right? So I worked on it for like the four out of the six months that, you know, I didn't have a computer because I was trying to fix it and stuff. It was an extensive process. You'd think that after all of those months, you know, I'd be able to finish the pack and release it. Well, no, because when I finished that pack over that four month period, I was a big stinky idiot and didn't know how to make packs properly. I didn't incorporate this one really important technique called hue shifting, which I've talked about a few times on this channel before, but essentially hue shifting is when you're shading instead of, oh, interesting. When you're shading, what you're supposed to do, instead of adding black to colors to shade them, you add like this dark blue, and if you try to make like highlights, instead of adding white, you add like this light yellow, and it makes the textures look a lot better. And I didn't do that because, you know, aforementioned being a big idiot, I had this like, I had this completed pack, but it looked like garbage. And, you know, I had my computer back, so I was back to, you know, juggling homework and, you know, recording videos. So I didn't really have time to fix it. Well, all that changed when a few weeks ago when summer vacation started, which was also the exact same time that Hypixel got DDoSed. You know, very interesting turn of events. So I decided... You know, since I really couldn't play Hypixel at all, and like Minecraft is pretty much like the only video game that I play for a really long time, I decided that I would work on Square and just hue shift all of the textures so they don't look like garbage. That took around two weeks, but we're here. The pack is finished. I think it looks pretty good. It's like a plastic style PvP texture pack. And I don't really know if it's great on the frames, but it certainly looks pretty clean in my opinion. I, I suppose now is a good time as any to talk about the texture. So as you can clearly see, square, as the name implies, is very square shaped. A lot of the textures are like squares, rectangles, all that stuff. And 
it just kind of carries that aesthetic the entire time. Like, you know, a lot of the lines are very flat and all the shading is really flat. But I think it I think it looks pretty nice. So you got here, you got your ores. They're, they're fairly simple. They all look the exact same. This was actually what they looked like in the plastic pack that I played with. You know, this was like the primary reason why I wanted to make this pack. Anyways, you got your weapons over here along with like a few other items. I think, yeah, this will give you the enchanted varieties of them. So these look... These look pretty clean, actually. I think the, the weapons and the tools were the stuff that were, like, improved the most by, you know, the hue shifting. Here's the splash potion of healing particles. I, I think that I probably should also show the regeneration particles. There they are. Look at them spiral. Incredible. Anyways, here's the ender pearl. Why is it purple, you may ask? Because I have no idea why ender pearls are green. Like, why are they green? in the vanilla version. There is nothing green about Endermen. It looks so weird to me, so I'm like, they're black and purple, I'm just changing the pearl texture also be black and purple. Screw that. Wait, what else is there? I suppose I can move on to the blocks right now. So, here's probably what you're gonna see in your standard caving adventure. You got, you got your stone and your cobblestone. I mean, they're a little bit, I think they're a little bit brighter than vanilla Minecraft, so it should be a little bit easier to see, you know, around caves if you have, like, you know, low lighting or whatever. Here are the ores. You got the outlined ores, so it's very easy to find them. And once you venture outside of your cave, you can go and find, you know, environments like this. The grass, I don't know why the grass texture isn't working. I made a tall grass texture. I don't. So, cool. yeah, it, here it is. I don't, I don't know why it, like, isn't working down here, probably because I'm bad at making packs, but whatever. The grass texture, fairly simple, it's just green square, and then you got dirt texture, brown square, I don't, I don't really know what you expected. Water texture, I simplified it a little bit, it's only got two different shades over here, which, you know, differs from the lava texture, which I was too lazy to texture. You got the trees over here, I think these leaves look pretty nice. Uh, I don't know why it's raining over here, weather clear, okay, well, we're gonna get rid of that. I also compiled all of the wood types over here, if you have all of the logs. Fairly simple, very simple shading. And all the planks. With that being said, uh, here are the armor models. Incidentally, I suppose I should mention at some point, but this isn't actually my texture pack map, it's actually this really old one. And this, this button was supposed to show the armor models. As you can see, they kind of just flash there, but they don't, they don't work. So I just kind of jammed them all into this corner, but the armor models are fairly simple. Again, you kind of got like the, the very simple shading right here. But I think they look pretty nice. They also look very nice with the with the enchant glint, if I do say so myself. Anyways, you also got some GUIs over here. I suppose I could actually switch over to survival and show you the survival GUI. You got the the fairly simple inventory. I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, the toolbar kind of looks like that. I disabled scroll wheel in my mods because I kept on nicking it. But you get the idea. How about we give ourselves? Actually, I can just do. Um, should I just take this out and then, yeah, that, that, that's what the that's what the XP looks like. Fairly simple. And then you got the containers over here. You got the chest, you know, yeah, fairly standard stuff. You got the crafting table. You got this nice arrow going here. Furnace, anvil, and the enchant table. And if I actually switch over here, I can show you what these look like. So if I give myself a diamond sword... And then put this in. Here's how the enchantment looks like. The enchantment GUI. Fairly good. You have the anvil tech, uh, the anvil GUI. Fairly simple. I mean, just rename. Lodge, you know, great, great, great name. Anyways, uh, we can take this and actually the furnace over here. And this is what the GUI will look like. It's offset. I don't, I don't think that's intentional. I'm gonna call it intentional because I actually kind of like what the effect looks like, but you got the you got the fire thing over here. It, it's fairly good. Speaking of the fire, actually, I think I can show that off. Flint and steel. Can I set stone on fire? I can. So that's what the fire texture looks like. It's very, very simple, actually. Very geometric, but I actually like it quite a bit. I think it looks pretty nice. I also have made the textures for all of you budding Skywars and Bed Wars players out here. We're gonna teleport over here to see what you would normally find in your average Bed Wars game. So here's pretty much every single block that you're going to find in your average Bed Wars game. And the wool textures are also around here as well. You can also take a peek at the dyed leather armor textures. I think they look pretty nice. Over here you got the bed bug. Nobody uses these, I don't even... I, I honestly just wanted to showcase the snowball. 
Egg has no texture because I'm lazy, so is the fire charge, same reason. And the spawn eggs, same reason. <laughs> and here are the tools that you would probably find. Well, I mean, these are all tools, actually. So, and you also got the different glass varieties. Speaking of these glass varieties, actually, like, making these textures connected, these take so long to make for one color of glass. I had to make it for all 17 colors because I couldn't live with only connecting like, you know, one of the glass colors textures. So yeah, this took like two or three hours. Please validate me by like liking this video, like downloading the pack, please. I spent so much time on these. Looking back and editing, I actually realized there are a few things that I forgot to showcase in the pack. So I'm just gonna kind of do it right now. So anyways, you got combat particles right here. So you got crit particles. Pretty simple squares. Uh, you got the crit with the enchant, and then just the enchant particles. Those are like the angled squares, and then you got ambiance Y. Also, don't don't worry about those corrupted textures over there. The uh, the textures in the pack work. It's just that like no 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 this world is like buggy for some reasons. So some of the textures just randomly bug out. Anyways, you got the the Nether over here as well. How it look when you visit the Nether? You got soul sand. Quartz or quartz block, a lot more of the fire around here and the obsidian. Pretty, pretty neat looking, if I do say so myself. Oh yeah, and the nether rack, I like that. And I think that actually concludes the showcase of the main part of the pack, but that's not all. Remember when I said that I spent like two weeks, you know, queue shifting this entire texture pack while Hypixel was getting DDoSed? Yeah, um, after the two weeks, Hypixel was still not like back up and I had a lot of free time on my hands still, I decided to just throw a little bit of something for the UHC sweats out there who probably want something to spice up their experience in Hypixel UHC because let's be honest, they, they, they kind of need it. You, you guys never get updates and there's like 40 billion cheaters every single game. So I, along with this pack, I am going to present my fully animated extra ultimate overlay for Hypixel UHC. I spent five straight days working on this and I actually learned a lot more about texture animation, all that stuff. And I am, I am very proud of this. So anyways, we're gonna go over here to the hallway of items. You got all of your bow varieties here. They're all animated. I really like these bow textures, especially like, you know, I, I spent the time animating each like charge stage. So like, please, please validate me by downloading this pack. You got the modular bow textures that they're, they're all the same, like sort of design, but I still think that, oop, okay, I didn't mean to do that. But they still look pretty nice. You got Cupid's bow right here. It's, I mean, I'm just gonna say this right now. It's the exact same as the flame bow texture over there because I mean, Cupid's bow is a flame bow. Why do you need a separate texture? The arrow head is glowing right there, so I think that looks pretty nifty. And then Artemis bow right here. I think this is my favorite bow texture. Just look at how clean it looks. It's great. You got some tools and like some extra stuff, I suppose. Miner's blessing is the very simple glow streak down the center of the stick. You got Expert Seal doing one of these things. These are just compilation textures. I mean, you, you got how dice I got in Chest of Fate work. Uh, Philo Pickaxe, looking like that, looking kind of clean. These textures actually might be able to pertain to the Sky Wars players out there because you got the Fire Sword textures right here, Iron Sword, Diamond Sword, and for the people that rush Sword of Destiny still for some reason, you got Fire Dragon Sword. These look pretty nice. I like them a lot, especially this one. I think this looks really clean, but you'll be able to enjoy those. So moving on to the armor, you got the fusion armor right here. It's kind of got this this glowing effect down the entire armor set. Now your chances of actually seeing that entire thing is like negative because getting all the pieces of fusion is like impossible, but like y y you get it. It looks cool is what I'm saying. Anyways, you got the uh, you got the tarn helm over here. It's got this sort of like breathing texture over here. Same thing goes with the ambiance sounds really want to interrupt me today. Anyways, you got the same deal with the apprentice helmet. Uh, and the barbed chest plate, actually, except this time the entire texture glows. Or breathes, rather. Uh, Exodus is doing one of these things. I think it looks pretty clean. Uh, you got seven league boots, kind of looking like a reverse version of fusion boots, but like, you know, up. Uh, Shoes of Vidar, 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 and then Hide of Leviathan, doing one of these blue things down the entire texture. I think it looks pretty clean. Hermes boots have a very simple texture along the feathers. And Dragon Armor right here has this sort of like upside down V thing. Going over here, we can actually see the weapons. So you got Dragon Sword over here, it's animated, looks pretty nice. You got Andril, it's kind of got this very subtle effect going up the blade outline. Perun, it's got a fuse, I, I, can't, I can't block this as an axe. You got Bloodlust right here, I think this looks pretty clean, all things considered. 
And in fact, actually, there's... If you want to see the bloodlust sharpness levels, I think they're over here. So yeah, you got like sharpness 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You got Excalibur doing one of these things along the cross guard. I don't really like to touch her that much. You got Death Scythe dripping blood. Very morbid. Uh, and you got Apprentice Sword doing one of these things. I think it looks pretty nice. And Vorpal oh, Sword doesn't have a texture because I'm lazy. I also took the liberty to animate the armor models, which is... These are just armor model variants of, you know... That those those armor item textures. You got fusion armor going down here. You got Exodus doing its its thing. But this actually took a really long time to perfect. Barbarian's chest plate still breathing. St still breathing. St it's it's literally the exact same thing. But I'm gonna showcase them because I spent a lot of time on them. And then you got like all these compiled ones over here. You got you know hide, Vidar, and then you can see like some things in the hand. Even though you can't even see them on like. You can't even see these textures on other people because of how Hypixel handles the, you know, server-side, like, data for enchants and item names and all that stuff. But you can see it on yourself, and I think that's all that really matters in the end. So, I suppose... And then, like, you know, you can round things off with the, the classic, the backpack right here. It's... I mean, what do you want from me? It's, it's literally just the backpack. I, I don't even know if this works in the actual game because, like... It hasn't worked for me, and I don't know how to make it work, but it, it's here. I made an attempt. If you actually know what the correct code is, well, then you can probably just code it yourself. Anyways, there will be several links in the description. There will be two links that actually are relevant to this pack. One for the entire pack, which actually includes the UHC overlay, and one for just the UHC overlay, if you want to, like, overlay this over some other pack. I don't think it's really going to work all that well because the plastic thing is really distinct and I don't think it meshes too many packs, but if you really want the fully animated UHC overlay, then it's there. In fact, I think, yeah, it's uh, it's right there. And incidentally, I actually put a lot of effort into making these things look nice, which uh, kind of makes the, um, the the file names look pretty pretty cursed. But you just kind of kind of have to deal with it. I think they look nice over here, so that's all that really matters to me. Anyways, you're going to have to download links to those two packs, and you're also going to have links to, you know, people that help make this video possible. People that have made this map, well, the person that made the showcase map that I showed at the beginning of the video. Inside of both of the texture packs, you're also going to find a file called specialthanks.txt. I encourage that you guys read that. It uh, includes... All of the people whose work definitely helped me make this texture pack possible. You know, like the code for making these textures work, the code for the animation, and the code for the animated armor models. So, yeah, be sure to check those people out once you download the pack, and all of the links in the description. And yeah, that concludes my showcase for the square texture pack. Be sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. Get me to other subscriber milestones. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Anyways, bye.